Hi, this is Daniel Odio, and I'm back with part two of how to manipulate PDFs. And here I'm going to specifically focus on how we use electronic faxing instead of a real fax. Now, in the last part of this video, what I did was send a fax to an email address. Now that fax has come in. So it's going to be a little confusing because I actually received this fax via email. But that's not really what I'm trying to uh, show you. What I'm trying to show you was, imagine if this fax had come in on a regular fax machine. So what I have in front of me here would be just a regular fax that came in on your fax machine that you might have at your office. You'll notice that it, it has, you know, it looks like a fax. And you'll also notice that the text that's on this fax is exactly the text that I wrote in the email. So here's what's happened. I sent an email to a fax number at maxemailsend.com. Max Email Send, this company called Max Email, translated that into a regular fax and sent it on to the regular fax number. Now it just so happens that that fax number that I sent it to right here is, uh, is also an electronic fax. So that electronic fax service turned it back into an electronic fax to email to me. And that's just because I do everything electronically. You could have received this via a regular fax and it would have looked exactly the same. So I hope I didn't confuse you, but you'll notice here that everything is here that we did, uh, including the signature pages. Let me just show those to you. So here is a signature that I stamped electronically and it looks just like a regular signature on this fax that's come in. Uh, let's go back to the first page. You'll, you'll notice that the cover letter that I wrote is shown here. And uh, now I did receive this on my email because, again, we do everything electronically, but you wouldn't necessarily need to be able to receive and send faxes electronically to the other if you wanted to. More power to you. You don't have to use any paper at all. So, hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Daniel at DanielOdeo.com.